yesterday after my trial motor prop going out and my spare being wrong it's got me on the uh, the kick of boat maintenance boat maintenance is a never ending battle never ending and the trick is to stay above, uh, ahead of it rather than behind it because it will add up quick on you starboard power pole here has been it's it started working kind of funny oh hold on where y'all going it started working kind of funny for a while and then it just quit going down all together I don't know what it just crushed oh <laughs> see starboard's not working I have researched and found that the motherboard, if you leave your main power supply on while you're charging, a lot of times you can fry the motherboard. A few times I have left my power supply on while charging. Guessing that's what it is. I think I'm gonna pop out the motherboard out of one of them, out of the good one, and swap. We'll just swap them out and see if the problem follows the uh, the motherboard and then we know that's what it is. Maybe the dealership will let me, uh, they'll just send me one if I tell them it is a power supply, I'm sure of it. Or I mean a, a motherboard, I'm sure of it. Maybe they'll just send me one, I won't have to bring the boat in. They've been pretty good with me uh, with that kind of stuff. Uh, my old boat, I had a seat that ripped two months after I had, bo had the boat. Uh, they just sent me a new seat with a return address or a return sticker to put on the box to put the old one in and return it to them. So instead of driving away over there and letting my boat sit for two to three weeks while they fix a very minor, easy to fix problem. Now, when things get up in the $1,000 range, then we'll have issues. I'm bringing it to them. But hopefully this is just a little simple fix and can get the motherboard pretty quickly okay first things first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna determine which one's which I'm pretty, I think I remember was this one yep that's the back one this is the front one it used to be I could whack it. it used to be I could hit it and it would work not anymore so now I need to do is turn the power off. Make sure we got the power off to this before we go to dis disconnect anything. All right. All right, the power's off. It looks like these are easier than some of them I've seen. All I gotta do is pop this off. There we go. Motherboard right on top on this one. Mm -hmm. Yay, there it is. All right. Let's get the other one out. Thank you. 
What's going on? This is ground and 12 volt. That's the power supply plug. That's probably why it's so stiff right there. There you go. Aha! That's why. Oh, well, that's even easier. That's easier than the other ones they show. So, this is the bad one, supposedly. We're gonna take this one out and put it in here and repower it and see if it works. So it should be good. Let's turn it on now. All right. Let's hit the down. Let me get out of the way. That's exactly what it is. It's the motherboard. To further find out. Put this one in here and, and double check that. Oh, wait, stop. Power off. All right. There we go. That's in. Power on. down nothing this motherboard is fried that board is bad let's turn it off turn off the power I want to see something y'all hear that noise it makes it do 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 well I want to see if that was just this one making that noise. Just turn the power back on. Yep. So when it doesn't make the noise, the motherboard's bad. So if you only have one unit and it's not making the noise that it normally makes that do 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 when you turn the power on, then it's bad. Motherboard bad. Pump's fine, motherboard's bad. Turn the power off. Problem figured out. It ain't solved yet, but it's figured out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw this back together. There we go. This one back in. Try to just only touch the sides. Don't touch the circuits. I, uh, building my computer, I found that out. Don't, you don't, well, I didn't find it out luckily the hard way. I just learned it through internet. You don't want to touch the circuits. Only touch the sides if you can. There we go. This back on. Now this is with the the powerful blades eight footers with the C Monster system. Okay, that's all sealed right there. Match that back on and down. Boom. Alright, put this one back on for right now. Keep everything sealed. Because this builds up moisture in here with all the heat and condensation so we want to go ahead and seal this off for now but I am having to replace this motherboard there
work right, does it? Yeah, it does. There we go. Turn the power back on. That's the one. It works. This one don't work, this one's bad. Let's look at the signals. Let's count them. 1,001, one second. 1,001, done. It's about the same, so it's not like that's telling me different. I'm seeing if maybe this is flashing differently than this one, but they're flashing the same. It really ought to have like a different code, maybe a red flash or a uh, one, two, three, and then a pause or something like that to tell you something's wrong. But there's nothing. It's just straight up one, and it waits about a second. The same as this one, the good motherboard. All right, well, that's it. That's uh, easy figured out. Well, hey, guys, that, that was easy to figure out. Uh, nowhere on YouTube do they have this one, this particular type. They have the Sea Monster, they call it, with the Sea Monster pump, but they don't have, they have the screws on the ones on, the, on YouTube. They don't have this type that has that little latch. So, uh, it's, it's basically the same thing. It's actually easier because once you undo that latch, the motherboard right on top, and you just pry it out and everything unplugs automatically. It's not like you've got to unplug the wires and remember where they go. This just automatically, boom, right into place. Everything's plugged in right. So it is definitely the motherboard. Swapped it out. Uh, it works with the other motherboard that works for the other pole. Took the port side motherboard, put it on the starboard side. Starboard side now works. Put the starboard side on the port side. The port side quit working. Swapped it back again the way it originally was. Port side's working, starboard side's not. So, that's the starboard side motherboard is bad. I'm gonna call up the dealership tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, I'm gonna call them up, see if they can maybe just send me a, a motherboard. And I won't have to drive way over there and leave my boat for a week for them to tell me what I already know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends. I'll see y'all next time.